Hello and welcome back to BMNG Drive. I'm David in Ark and today we are going to take the D series down a little hill. <laughs> I have not seen this at all. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, so this is on a map called the Swiss Alps and uh, yeah, it's got a ski jump. Oh, there's a slam landing into the sand and ouch i think we hit the wall oh and a tree <laughs> oh this is fantastic oh my gosh okay let's try this again let me see if i can pay a little bit uh more attention to what i'm doing probably not i want to see though i mean it looked like we were kind of close to hitting that cross bridge okay so it was about 150 miles an hour or so look at the air time oh no we're not even close but i'm thinking we might be able to hit that cross bridge for sure man i don't know uh, let's see let's try another car um you know what let's go with the um the ESBR 800. Let's let's pull out the electric car and see if the electric car can get enough speed to hit that bridge, to hit that passover, the crossover, whatever you want to call it. We are hoofing it down the hill. Oh my gosh. About 170 miles an hour as we take off here and we are getting close. Oh, missed it by that much. Oh my gosh. We lost both front wheels at the same time. That was, oh, that was fantastic. It does not get much better than that. Oh, and bouncing up and into the support and down the hill into the forest. <laughs> And, oh, this is fantastic. I am loving the ski jump. You know, usually, you know, I, I'm, I prefer having the jumps uh, where I, I can measure my distance, but I, I don't even care at this point, man. This is just, oh, this is so much fun. Oh, how are we going to do this time? I think we launched it like just over 170. Ah, not quite enough, but who cares? Oh, here we go. Side rolling up up can we get up the hill oh no we're gonna ride the curve back down around once again into the forest <laughs> oh, oh that's so cool all right who are we gonna try next uh let's see i say we grab like the barstow dragster i mean if we're gonna you know lay down some power and see if we can't uh take a, a whack at this thing it's oh oh crud okay i forgot that i can't i don't drive this thing very well all right i do i have some control okay we'll bank it off the corner all right well well we're going about 175 or so we might be close oh except we kind of veered it off to the side and now we are a tiny little ball up around the tree all right we gotta try that again for sure all right okay let's see what happens Oh, man. I, I have such a hard time <laughs> controlling this dragster. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's see. Oh, well, we were up to 200 at one point, but by the time I got to the edge. Mm, oh, hey. Well, we flew up and over the bridge. So we tumble down. Oh, into the sand and lose the complete front end of our vehicle. That's phenomenal right there all right what if we just kind of ease into this i know this is not the preferred method but here we go maybe i can keep some semblance of control we're accelerating heading down all right almost 200 i think we launched at about 185 again we're off to the side into the hillside which i mean we would have fallen way short anyway but look at that just that tiny little ball of barstow <laughs> sounds like something you order at some fancy restaurant. You know, so I'll have the ball of Barstow. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's see what else do we have here. Oh, okay. So sticking with vehicles that come with the game, we would be remiss, would we not, if we did not choose the Hero Bus. That's right, man. Let's fire up the JTO rockets. And we're just going to fly. Let's just see how far we go. Oh, my gosh. We launched at about 180 or so, but we were up to like 215 maybe. And we are over the bridge. Oh. 
How about a ball of Jato? Yes, I'll have the ball of Jato. Oh, that bus is... It's toast. I mean, kind of literally, you know, it's, it's on fire. But we're just going to slide down the hill between all the trees. There we go. There he is. All right. Let's try this again. Only this time, uh, I'm going to see if maybe we don't quite get as fast. Maybe if we slow down just enough. All right. So we're going to launch at about, about 170 or so. Oh, here we go. Oh, man, we just missed the crossover. Okay, I, I think we can do this for sure. Oh, slam up into the retaining wall. Okay, we're going to try this again. Let's get ourselves going, and we will just kind of... Let me see, if I turn this off, and we kind of drive through there. Man, it definitely has some lag. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, I believe we got it. Oh, how about a side shot, and oh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the guardrail, the side rail, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it just grabbed the bus. It was not letting go. Flames with the mountains in the background. That is awesome, man. That is some fire and ice kind of stuff going on here in Beam NG Drive. All right, here we go. One more time with the Jado bus. I think, I think we can nail this right where I want to. Let's see what this one does. Oh yeah, here we go. This should be nice, right on the road. Oh, look at there, that side rail though. Just grabbing the thing and what a massive explosion. There goes the tires. Oh, that is so, so cool. There's nothing like watching the bus loaded down with JTOs get absolutely obliterated and shoot flames out of the bus. I mean, really, that's kind of what this game is all about. <laughs> Is it not? All right. So um, here's so these mods that are all uh, right here, all of those automation mods uh, are all from um, High Def's series that he's doing with Gasmia, where he's doing uh, every decade uh, he's doing a series of cars, putting them through some tests. I have to tell you, it is an awesome, awesome series. And this is one of the cars from the '70s series, and it is called the Elite. Just listen to that bad boy. Just, oh, I, I just, I love the rumble of this thing. Okay, so about 140 or so, so we're not going to get anywhere close, but this is by far and away one of my favorite cars out of his Gasmia series. Oh, and we've got ourselves a proper fail race flag. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, stuck in a tree. <laughs> Thanks to Alex over at Fail Race for uh, inventing that whole concept. And it basically is when you get your car stuck in a position that, well, frankly, it resembles a flag. There you go. It's the Fail Race flag. It's also a goal in BMNG. Here we go. Let's send the Elite flying down the hill and boom, slamming into the ground. Oh, hey, up over the rail. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to ride the rail there for a minute. Nope. We're just stuck in the sand. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so we have some other cars that we can try. I think we should go for the, um, uh, this is the Demon. This is also from the, uh, I believe it's from the 70s series. Maybe this is the 60s. I may, maybe I, I may be off. Ah, I can't remember. Anyway, this is an awesome truck, man. This is so cool. Again, this is from the High Def series. And just look at this thing. Oh, it is such a beast. It is the demon. And uh, it is by far one of my favorite trucks. Uh, vehicles, period. But one of my favorite trucks to drive in BMNG. Now, what's funny is when he created this... Um, it, it came up, the way he does it, it came up uh, for the game to automatically generate this vehicle as a convertible. Oh! Oh, there goes the license plate. That was wild. <laughs> Nothing like having a license plate coming at you. But anyway, it, the game treated this like a convertible. I have no idea why. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. We are upright. And let's see, we can drive. That's one of the things about these uh, automation cars. Like, almost no matter what condition they're in, the engine never seems to break. But, you know, hey, we'll take it. So how about a, uh, what do you call it? A hood view. That's what I'm saying. The, the, the onboard hood cam flying down the ski jump in the Swiss Alps. 
and we are flying, flying, and oh, crunch time. Oh, wait, where are we going? Okay, off the edge, up into the forest. Are we on two wheels? What? Oh, what is happening? I don't know, but we're just going to drive down here, let it coast, oh, into the wall. Yeah, that's pretty much the end of that. Oh, there's the external cam. Oh, you know what? We haven't done an external cam down a ski jump in a while. Why not? Let's take the demon down of the hill in the external camera, flash a little lights while we're going at it, and down we go. Let's see what happens when we hit the end, go flying off over those trees into the landing zone. Oh, crunch. Oh, my God. The camera can't quite keep up. Oh, flipping up and over into the field by the forest. Whoa. Yeah, the camera's definitely having an issue with the demon truck. Oh, so much fun. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I love it. I really do. Again, one of my one of my favorite vehicles from the uh, high def series. All right, let's jump into the V10 destroyer. You know what? Let's go for the land speed. Why not? Let's go for the land speed record version of this. Now, I have a hard enough time controlling the uh, dragster versions of cars. This car, I mean, not only am I lagging, but I, it's so hard for me to control. I can't, okay, that's not gonna work. Let's try this again. If I just floor it and try to maintain some semblance of control, come on. Well, we're going to fly off the edge anyway. Oh, are we going to hit the bridge? Oh, we did. Holy cow, we landed smack on it. And then we flew up in the air and landed on it again. That is crazy. Holy smokes. All right, let's see if I can control this thing this time. Let's see how fast we can get going here. Holy cow, 230 miles an hour, I think it was. We are... <laughs> way overshooting the mark and our car has turned itself into a twisting turning i don't know pirouetting well yeah dancing car what the heck it is doing all kinds of crazy look at there all kinds of crazy twists and turns and i don't think it's hit a tree there we go i was gonna say i don't even think it's hit a tree yet that is crazy oh that's <laughs> i don't know what's happening man uh okay Let's do uh, one more here. Let's grab the, um, oh, I know. Let's do the Vulcan, uh, or the uh, Vulture, rather, the, the Canadian police car. And uh, we'll get this thing loaded up and uh, just send it flying down the ski jump in the Alps. I, I, I have to say, I, I, I never imagined when I first started uh, playing BeamNG that I would be throwing vehicles down a ski jump in the Alps. Who knew? Who knew this was going to be a thing? <laughs> there we go. Oh, man, I lost control. Now, about 150 or so. Oh, well, we're doing a decent job of... Well, we were doing a decent job of maintaining some kind of control, but uh, that's still not bad. I'm going to hang out here by the tree. Is that, is that cool with you? All right, let's try this again. Oh, man. I just, I, I really do. I, I know I, I put a lot of BeamNG videos out there, but that's because I really, really enjoy the crazy stuff you can do in this game. Oh, oh, I thought we were going to go head over tail. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that is one way to hit the crossbar as the engine is dangling in the air. Oh, that is, that's great, man. <laughs> is, uh, such crazy stuff going on here in Beam NG Drive. I'll tell you what, if you got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Here we go. Oh! Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. And thanks for all of your comments and your feedback and uh, all the stuff that uh, you guys like to talk about and suggest in the comments. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for subscribing and liking and sharing all that good stuff. We'll see you next time in Beam NG Drive.